Off we go into the wild blue yonder, climbing high into the sky. I don't know any more words. <laughs> uh, so what's our plan for today? Kill flies. Yes. Um, we are gonna go in and get some breakfast, and then we are going to Wawa which actually might be one and the same, and uh, getting some water and eggs and, I don't know, some other good stuff provisioning-wise, and then around about 4 o'clock or so when this wind dies down just a little bit and maybe shifts, um, we are going to pull up anchor and we're going to head for Sandy Hook and maybe points beyond to New York City um, overnight in it. Sweet. As Jeff mentioned, we spent the first half of the day in Cape May. We were planning to leave that afternoon to go to New York City, but first we wanted to go in search of some water, some eggs, and Wawa for breakfast. We're at Aches Marina. We got some fuel here and uh, for the dinghy. <laughs> for the dinghy, yeah. And some lures because we're going to try to do a little fishing. And uh, they were kind enough to let us tie up our dinghy for a little while so we could walk down to Wawa and get some breakfast and some provisions that we needed. And uh, now we're just hanging out waiting to buy some water because we didn't want to lug that around town. And then we're going to go get the boat ready and uh, head out soon. Alright. Uh, so we left uh, Cape May about... compass, uh, about seven nautical miles to our first waypoint. Um, it's a little bit lumpy out here, um, but it's nice temperature, the sun is out. Um, yeah, we're just hanging out, trying to decide how to pass the time right now. Um, maybe Jeff will read me something, that would be nice. Hot chocolate is made in this thermos. My new gilt trousers are in my backpack here. Cockpit with some snacks. The uh, berth is made up downstairs. Sea berth for us to sleep later. So we'll be taking watches today. And uh, Jeff strung up the jack lines. And we've got our um, so we can clip in our harnesses. Good to go. We spent a lot of time underway enjoying the beautiful weather and calm seas. Jeff read aloud from Rachel Carson's The Edge of the Sea, which helped us to learn about creatures we might see along the shore. Jeff also spent a bit of time putting together our fishing pole and casting a line. Without much luck. So the first year we went out, we had some reels. The second year when I, we went out, we had some rods. And we had lures the first year too. The third season we put it all together. We just bought some lures at, what was that place called? Uches Marina. Uches Marina in Cape May. And um, we've seen a bunch of huge schools of fish out here, um, like feeding frenzies at some point and we're gonna put a line out and see if we can catch something. This should be fun. It's a beautiful out here right now. The seas are really calm and... Woo! I almost fell over. Oh, that's entertainment right there for you. Um, the sun is warm, but the breeze is cool. It's about, uh, what is it, 7.30? 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. The sunset was really beautiful that night, casting a warm, fuzzy glow over Atlantic City. 
We could see it rather clearly from about three miles offshore. State Park, uh, making about seven knots or so. Uh, more motor sailing. Definitely enough wind uh, for sailing, but Margaret's down below. I'm not going to get her up, and frankly, I don't really want to go on deck and get the main up at this point in time. Um, not too much traffic out here, although there's quite a few boats about, uh, just not too near us. Although we have a, uh, a catch that's maybe a quarter mile off our starboard corner, so I keep looking at over there, you can see my face at all. Um, they passed us and looked to be going strong, and then suddenly they turned on all their floodlights and took down their aft sail and seemed to be having some sort of problems because I still see the light going up on, onto the sail and stuff. Um, yeah, so moon set, stars are out. I saw a shooting star a little bit ago. Um, not too much else. Sun just coming up. Um, we're off of Bayhead, New Jersey, right now, um, making about six knots or so. With, uh, as you can see, the engine on and a little bit of the Genoa out. Um, there is the smell of forest fire in the air. I guess I, the forest fire somewhere down in uh, South Jersey, and just in the last 10, 15 minutes or so, I've started to smell it. Um, I guess we're downwind of it. I guess that's what's also making for this sort of hazy sunrise and uh, also pretty hazy to our, our west as well. Um, we've got about 16 miles until our next waypoint off of uh, um, Shrewsbury and um, then it will be just a couple miles into Sandy Hook. It looks like we'll probably get in, I don't know, 11 o'clock or so. Um, probably put the hook down for two hours. Uh, before we can catch the tide up the Hudson. Um, I'm pretty tired right now. Margaret's down there asleep. Probably let her sleep for another hour or so before I get her up and, and take a little nap myself. Yep. 
Off the highlands, just a short distance from where we would turn into Sandy Hook, we were greeted by the most amazing sight. A whale was blowing its spout. It did this three times and then flipped its tail above the water before diving below. We only saw it for a quick moment, but it was a truly awesome experience. Sorry we don't have any footage, it just happened way too fast. As we rounded the corner into Sandy Hook, we saw this dredge operation taking place. We decided to drop the hook and spend a couple of hours napping before heading into New York City. We arrived near the Statue of Liberty around 2, 2.30 in the afternoon. The waterways were chaotic, with commercial traffic, ferries, and pleasure craft. But I still asked Jeff if he would please get closer to the Statue of Liberty so I could get a better shot. After avoiding the Sea Street ferries and the Staten Island ferries, we headed up the Hudson River where we planned to spend the next few days moored at the 79th Street Boat Basin. We had stayed here during our first year aboard Bear. The Boat Basin was in much better condition this visit. There was ongoing construction on the docks, a new laundry room and bathroom, and shower facilities. devouring a wide range of food and culture that we can't get in Peoria, as well as visiting with friends and family. We also made it a point to do a few touristy things, like walk through Times Square, walk over the Brooklyn Bridge, walk the High Line, visit the Strand, the MoMA, Guggenheim, and the new International Center for Photography. And did I mention that we ate some amazing cheese? So it's 1243 and we are taking a walk over the Brooklyn Bridge. It's pretty cool. Kind of touristy we know, but how can you pass up doing this when you're in New York? To talk about what you're doing right now. We just went to some place across the street here. Uh, we're in Nolita, and it was like a cheese concept store or something like that. They did cheese cooking classes, and they may have had an association with the French government. We couldn't understand because the woman had a very old French accent. Um, but they had cheap ass cheese, and we got six dollars for some triple cream that's ridiculous and we think we might have hit rock bottom because we immediately crossed the street into the park and started using our fingers to eat it. Next time on Return to Seasons. We ride the current down the East River at blazing speeds as we head toward Port Jefferson and my long-awaited rice pudding 